hi friends uh, today we will be learning about orifice effect on uh, pressure so uh, we will be learning it uh, with the help of uh, this particular animation as you can see over here on the screen so here we have designed a circuit uh, with an orifice in the center so uh, the area where uh, the uh, area is reducing this is a pipeline and for this pipe you can see at this point the area is getting reduced and at this point the area is um, getting increased so this uh, two points are called as the orifice the area where uh, the dimension of the pipe is reducing is called as the orifice and let's see uh, what's the orifice effect so uh, before the orifice we have connected a pressure gauge which uh, measures the uh, pressure of the uh, fluid inside and after the orifice also we have connected a pressure gauge so let's see how it uh, actually reads so we have a fluid flow or an oil flow uh, through this pipe uh, see due to this orifice or this orifice effect uh, we have a pressure over here between 2 and 4 uh, might be 3 uh, this is because there is a restriction to the flow uh, consider that uh, the area of this uh, portion of the pipe is larger and it is entering the orifice the area is getting reduced uh, to about 50 percentage over here so due to this uh, particular uh, restriction we are having a pressure over here on the pressure gauge and uh, the oil or the fluid passes through this orifice and enters a zone with higher dimension or a higher area so as a result of this um, the resistance is reducing over here because here the area is less and when it enters this region the area has increased to about 50 percentage so as a result of that uh, the resistance reduces and a pressure drop is happening so here the pressure gauge is reading low uh, than uh, so the pressure is less over here because the restriction has reduced and before the orifice uh, due to the restriction we have a more pressure so that's the orifice effect uh, uh, there is a generation of uh, differential pressure and it depends on the flow across uh, the orifice before the orifice we have more pressure and after the orifice we have less pressure so let's see the animation uh, here we have uh, blocked uh, this pipe uh, what's happening when the system is blocked you can see both the pressure gauges are now showing the same reading here the pressure gauges were showing different reading here the pressure was high and after the orifice the pressure was low but here in both the cases before the orifice and after the orifice uh, the pressure uh, which has been shown by the system is the same because uh, here there is a restriction over here and as a result of that there is no fluid flow happening as there is no fluid flow happening uh, due to Pascal's law or as per Pascal's law we can see that the pressure will be constant in all the area so wherever we check or connect the pressure gauge uh, the pressure reading will be the same because uh, here we have a single restriction and there is no fluid flow happening over here so as per Pascal's law before orifice and also after orifice the pressure will be the same if if there is no fluid flow and uh, if there is a flow before the orifice uh, the pressure will be high and after the orifice the pressure will be low uh, this is actually uh, the orifice effect of pressure in a hydraulic system so i believe you got an idea about this uh, for more technical uh, related videos you can visit my uh, blog that is www.techfreaksinfo.com or my youtube channel for video tutorials um, www.youtube.com oblique techfreaksinfo thanks Thanks for listening.